Hi guys, um, 2021, it's wrapping up soon. Now, the biggest game for Solana is absolutely going to be Star Atlas. At this point, of course, the game is delayed. It's taking time. People are realizing it's a slow process. We're realizing this across all of the Solana games. So what has been good and bad through the year? This is going to be my take on it. Um, obviously, we have score tier zero available now. And I'm going to show you through a little bit of that. But the biggest thing is we're realizing that this is a company. One of their big sayings, power to the people, stick it to the man, isn't, isn't in fact true. We don't see interviews that are open interviews. We see very curated interviews from the team, and I'm talking about WAGs, and we're seeing with the fact that they sold $3 million of ships to the club on a side backroom deal without announcing it to us. It got found out somehow. They're doing this where now the club doesn't need to go and buy those ships from the local DEXs and they're getting that at the listed price. So when the Compact Hero came out, it was a lot of buzz at the start on those ship sales. I paid 4200 because they've got this linear scale that goes up. When the ships are first released, they're released at that price. When the next lot of ships are released, they're released at a higher price. Now, the guilds that are going and doing these centralized deals with Star Atlas ahead of everybody else are getting these at the MSRP. They're getting an advantage to the game. I don't like how that factored out. I don't like how the information was slow and then Star Atlas took their sweet time and didn't actually address it properly. They they don't do good open interviews with free thinking guilds and 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 people that are prepared to question them and say, you're talking a load of shit. They don't go on places like Rome, where Rome has got a lot of money in the game, a lot of big profile players, and I love them. I, I watch every episode of theirs. Um, I'm a part of Interstellar Alliance. It's always going to be where I am. I want to play this game. I love the idea that you can get four or five people into a ship and you can go and play as a team. It's amazing. I, I, I think Star Atlas will be a great thing for Solana going forward. It has been good for us, but when push comes to shove, power to the people, they aren't. They're just another company out there to make money, make profit, and I believe they handled that extremely poorly. So there is lots to talk about with Star Atlas for 2021. They've probably done, I think, one of the best um, launch NFT launches, how you could buy the posters um, for a, a set period of time and the first poster came out, um, where are we? I can't see. They still haven't got this organized well enough. How fucking difficult is it to put up something which has your rebirth posters from order 1 to 14? So Discovery of Iris, where is it? See, this is what I mean. This is, this, is, this is just silly. You should be able to see it straight away in order. Discovery of Iris came out at 64 US dollars. Um, and it's now selling around 120. So they actually did do, have recent, they did an NFT drop, and they called that Cosmic Sounds. Now, I believe that might be some other badge that you would stick to um, to your to your clothing, and you're going to get some kind of a buff. Now, that, if we go and have a look at Cosmic Sounds, is selling for around 100 US dollars. So if you actually go to this Discovery of Iris Posters, they're at the moment selling for around $128. They have said down the track that they are possibly going to do more airdrops. And this was just before Christmas. So if you had one poster or 15 in your bags, you got one cosmic sound. So that was a pretty cool event. I'm happy. I bought some posters for friends when they were between $20 and $50, sent them to them ahead of schedule, and um, they got these. They got these free drops, of course. The poster has raised in value since. Um, I don't bother looking. I bought the first five when they come out. I don't bother looking what they're selling for. I'll keep them. That That's part of collecting and part of my journey in this space. So we actually did see of recent gameplay. Now, I think calling this gameplay was silly. This is rendered um, UE5 visuals of a ship loading and, sorry, docking into your docking bay.
it's super clean. You can see a lot of the hangar bay, different um, different parts. Um, you're going to be able to load that into your hangar bay and then change out ship components and stuff like that. That's a cinematic. That's not gameplay. That might be actual play in the game and used in UE5. That's awesome. But you're not at the controller driving, you know, like flying this ship with joysticks or anything like that. This is just a cinematic and a trailer. It is really cool, on the other hand, to see some more you, you, um, Unreal Engine 5 stuff. Yeah, this is similar. They've used this before. Um, it's good. It, it's cool. Before that, all we had was the X4 bike play from game so it is definitely cool to see some of that now i've been using this um calculator from uh afia uh industries and they've come up with this i'll put the link down below um you can slot out your ships what you've got and how much you're earning it it is very good it shows you your monthly rewards then works out based on the current atlas price the cost of all of your food fuel ammo tools and works it out for you it also gives you a great USD um, percentage and based on there, you know, the Opal Jets, I topped up and bought another three, I believe, when I noticed that they were $20, the X4s were $20, yet you were getting a high, higher daily return. And obviously that's affected now. Opal Jets are going for around $24 last I looked. So I'll show you through a little bit of how I do my daily um, because my ships are ready for it. But here is a good um, here is a good thread from Star Atlas, and you can see they've recorded over time the TVL that they've got in locked up ships all the way down to current days uh, over 110 million dollars, and it shows you the breakdown. Mud still on top, Oni coming in second, Ulster coming in uh, third, but there's still fairly you know 20 percent difference between Mud and Ulster. I don't think that's going to matter too much. We're looking at around 80,000 players enlisted. Um, there is so much, so much to mention. So I've had a look at that. I've shown the gameplay. Let's have a look at some of this score tier zero. Now, I actually, this this was super impressive. This is one of the things that they, they delayed getting it out, but most people would have to say it is a success. I, I like the visuals of it. I like playing with it every day. Not everybody's going to want to play with it every day. We'll go through some of that. I leave this in a half-viewed screen on my side monitor, and I'll monitor this through the day. I reckon it's awesome. So we'll zoom in so you guys can read it. But this is my fleet, and what you have a look at here as well is you've got a seasoned fleet buff, and you've got enlisted 13 days ago, 13 days ago, 11 days on the X5s. My team and myself, we worked out, well, hang on, the X5s need to be managed on a one to two daily basis. Other people weren't going to be playing it that much. They just quite literally sent it to me and I'll add them into my fleet and feed them. So you can actually have multiple ships in the same fleet. And if you add another ship into that, say for example, I bought a Jet Jet. Um, I believe they're only just 5% above their MSRP at the moment. So I'm considering buying another one myself. But if I add that in, that's going to go into that fleet it's still going to be the same one time per day um, fleet. So we manage the fleet. You see it's going to need another 300 food. It's going to need another 1,000 odd fuel. It needs most of its ammo and it needs to be repaired. So quite simply put, you need to go and buy these um, from the marketplace. So you need to go and buy these on the marketplace and... Uh, restock them so you're buying a whole heap ahead of schedule so i click on that that takes a few seconds now the food is 16 percent on my compact hero but you can see it's still got a good 15 15 hours so i don't need to clear that at the moment i'm going to manage these at the moment so i just click on that click on that bang away that goes click on that so you see an hour 54 minutes so someone that doesn't want to manage this every 20 to 24 hours they're actually going to not buy those ships. Or you might think, holy shit, you're getting 11% return on the jet. This is for me. I'm going to look at it every day. And you'll do that. So you can see um, all of that comes in there. It's a little bit frustrating when you do go and buy things from the marketplace. The way the system's set up at the moment, um, I will show you. So, For example, I'm going to need 
12,000 food. So I need to know, do I have 12,000 food on hand? So I can go in here. It doesn't show anywhere. There's no real bulk place. The only place I've found so far, resources owned 23.8K. So that's cool. Let's go back to my faction fleet. Let's click on that. I'll resupply this now. Nope, there's an issue. So that means that issue is going to be one of those four I don't have in stock at the moment. But let's manage my fleet. Nope, not that. Claim Atlas. I'm going to claim this. All these go straight into your wallet. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Everyone's got a different plan on this at the moment. People might be buying ships. People might be swapping it for Atlas. People might be swapping it for USDC. What you've got to have a look at is... A whole lot of things so at the moment i can look on the side and i know atlas is trading at 10 cents polis is trading at four dollars 90 um and the market is pretty pretty rough at the moment so bitcoin doesn't know what it's doing bitcoin's just just over forty six thousand nine hundred dollars it just doesn't know what it's going to do so i've claimed all of my atlas i could go into the marketplace and say do i want to buy a ship the only ship that i really want to buy at the moment is another jet jet Trading at $300 USDC. So we can see with the price of Atlas, it's probably a little bit above. I can change that to USDC. 319 So it is just over 5% on top of that. But what I normally do is I'll connect my wallet into Phantom. I normally come in here and swap my Atlas for Polis. So I'll wait for that to load. Love my Mercurial. Obviously, that's that's what we've coined our team, the Mercurials. But I've got 557 Atlas. So I can have a look at USDC and see what that would trade out for. Should be over $50. $55, that I guess. Taking its time. Try to adjust your input. All right, let's just go straight back to Polis then. Why is that not loading? One. All right, so I can trade that out for 11.55. It's not working there for some reason. Doesn't like that, does it? All right, 11.5. Now, I'm going to swap that. So why am I swapping mine for Polis? What is, why is that my decision? The reason I want to stake it for Polis is I've actually got land. I bought posters. I think I've got something like 14 land stations. So I'll stake that there. And what you're actually going to need, Polis, is three forms of government. You've got planetary, you've got factional, and then you've got gain. So you're actually going to need Polis for the planets that you have land on. So for me, um, I'm going to need to have some Polis handy for when the, um, when the game launches. And I think end of year, maybe January, it's definitely not end of year, but... I would have to imagine they're going to include into the game planetary staking at some stage. So you've got two options, two decent options that I'm aware of to stake your Polis and Atlas, and that is Frankium or um, Tulip. So you can see here, this is since the beginning. So in 13 days, my ships have got me around 180 odd dollars of um, Polis. Now you can see here, where is Polis Atlas rate is trading quite high, 125%, 80% utility, whereas the Polis is much lower, 38%, 34% utility. So am I doing the right thing? Maybe not, because it's all going sideways at the moment. You know, Atlas is kind of holding up fairly well. Even though people are earning the dailies, it's still above 10 cents. Polis has come down pretty heavy over the last few days, but it just kind of makes me feel happy that's my plan and my method through it. A lot of other people have bought additional ships. Um, I know I bought a few. Um, I added on, um, I had three X4s to start off with, and then I added on one from a friend and added on a fifth one myself. So I went and bought another X4, just 
I also like the numbers having um, having 10 jets and then five of that behind. So probably the one last thing I'll touch on is the season fleet. A lot of people have seen it, but don't really understand what it's for. What do I think it's for? We do understand in the white paper we learned that teams that live and train together in university and upgrading their skills actually get a buff. So I'm going to imagine it's going to be some kind of buff that they'll utilize later on down the track. And also being a way of them rewarding early adopters, early stakers. They have rewarded the poster holders now with that badge drop. That's selling for about a hundred bucks. So you could have bought a poster for 50 bucks, 30 bucks, 20 bucks for, for ages. I've mentioned it many, many times. I still think there's only 10,500 of those first posters from Rebirth. There's only 10,500. Let that sink in. How many hundreds of Solana, thousands and thousands of Solana have been spent on all of these different projects, all of these kinds of things? Um, and there's only one, um, you know, one Rebirth poster, one, you know, 10,500 of those. Um, yeah. Yeah. So all in all, I'm bullish on the game. I think that they're going to go well. I like how they've done the staking system. I'm swapping mine for Polis. Um, I have other Polis in another wallet, uh, but I just wanted to keep this separate to see how much I've earned along the way. Would I buy more ships now? Yes, probably. Would I recommend for others to buy ships? I'd recommend people to have a look at it. It's going to potentially be a good earner. You're looking at between... Um, on, on the numbers here, you're looking at between 9 and 11%. Um, and you can work it exactly out doing, not exactly, I mean, it, it always fluctuates, but there are good calculators out there. So uh, Ophia did really, really well with that. Uh, I think it's going to open up more and more. We're going to get more videos, but there is a whole heap of YouTube content out there for this at the moment. So I probably won't be doing them myself very often anymore. I like the rest of the Solana gaming side of things that I've taken on as a workload. So every week we are live on Saturday night, Australian time. It is one, um, sorry, it's 11 a.m. UTC, but that is 9 p.m. my time on a Saturday night. It's 7 p.m. for my mate in Perth, and it's uh, 10 p.m. for Metaverse Explorer in, um, in New South Wales. So that time's based on an Australian night time. We have fun every week and we go into Star Atlas a lot deeper. So Metaverse Explorer is another one. You know, he does a lot of content. He's very up to date with his times. He does it a lot quicker than me. But for me, I'm loving talking about a lot of the other games. They hurt me a little bit this year with the fact that they've proven that they are just another game producing. They're not decentralized. I'm, I'm not happy. I don't think that they've answered up for it yet. I don't think that they've been on enough AMAs that they are actually being in objective crowds and interviewers. They are very, very manicured um, interviews. So it's hurt me. I'll keep st sticking with what I've got. I did want to buy another ship. I was looking at potentially buying a BYOS. Um, I wanted the Fimble. The problem is at the moment is that everyone's very bullish on it and the Fimble has gone up. So you can see 4400 for a sale. And the MSRP for that is 3300 So that's almost a 30% um, increase on the MSRP. I'm not prepared to spend that. So there's other games I'm in. I've spent a whole lot of money on Step In. I've spent a whole lot of money on Zulana. Um, I'll still stick with it. But uh, yeah, hope I've helped. Thank you, Mother, for the rabbits.